So what you're going to do is use your value scale and find where the pure blacks are. So right inside of here, there's some pure black. Um, underneath of the edge of the siding, there's some pure black. Inside the eye of the cat, there's some pure black. Other than that, there aren't a lot of places that are pure black. So what I would do is start with the pure black areas and shade them in. And remember, you may want a piece of paper on your desk so that you have something that you can get rid of this because you don't want to blow this into someone's eyes or onto the tabletop. Okay, so let's say I'm finished with it. I'm not. It's pretty obvious I'm not, but we're going to say I'm finished with it. So I'm going to take this and get rid of all of the extra black onto my scrap paper. I can use um, any one of the blending items to blend this out now so that I'm getting the, uh, the next value for the inside of my, uh, this is a downspout, so the inside of the downspout. There are some areas that are a little bit darker, but probably graphite darker. Let's see. Well, a little darker than that. So charcoal darker, yeah. Right about this value. So some some lines there. Just a couple of strokes. And then I'll use my blending tool, this one, because I don't want to blend it out too much. I want it to get blended lightly. Okay, so you use this some now, but you're gonna go kind of, when I do a drawing, if I'm wanting it to look really good when I'm done with it, I go inch by inch. What is this area? I don't try to do like do it all and then come back and try and um, finish up. I wanna do little bits at a time and finish that area before I move on to something else. So right in here, along here, this is dark. So for the very light areas, and I'll show you that too, because that's gonna be the one other thing that you may struggle a little bit with. You're going to use um, your graphite. So I have this whole area is not white. It's very, much darker than white, darker than this. It is actually kind of in this middle to medium dark color, which it's kind of a light colored siding and you'd think, oh, that's kind of white, but it's not. And this is an instance where you, your value scale is gonna come in really handy. So I'm gonna go right here. And that was about four layers of graphite really lightly done. So I can start shading it in. When you shade, shade in little kind of in circular motions I'm not just going back and forth, I'm going round and round. My, my hand is, and you, if you look at it really closely, when I'm doing it, I'm doing kind of long circular motions and it is gonna make it less liney and a lot easier to blend. Okay, so I'm doing this. I can check if I'm about the right value, still too light. So once I get done this direction, I may go back and go the opposite direction. Go this way. Okay, and I'm just doing a small section of it because I'm demonstrating, not trying to finish the whole thing. Okay, it's pretty close. So I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna use the tissue. And by the way, um, at the end of class, you need to make sure you put your tissues in the trash, but we have some new tissue and it's heavier, so I think it won't fall apart as bad on you. So you can use that and there's some cut for everybody. Okay, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty close to that and pretty close to that color too. So that's the color that I want there. There's also gonna be some slightly darker lines which show like a grain. It's a faux would look on the siding. So I can add those lines in there to make the wood grain. So the goal is that you're 
looking at the whole thing inch by inch what the different things are. With the fur on the cat, and this is going to be probably the hardest part to do, it's slightly darker in some areas, mostly kind of in that middle tone. That's why he's hiding, he thinks he's hidden, which I think is why I love that photo. But um, I have a little bit of, I would do the shading first. Oh, that's, I would do the shading first. on the whole cat and then go back in and add the darker stuff. So up here, it's just a little bit darker right along that edge. And I wanna blend this out and then it's gonna get lighter and lighter. So I start, then I'll go to the pencil next to that and get lighter. So there's a little dark edge right here, but then it fades out to lighter. And when I start to do the pencil, then here, I wanna show you just a real little spot how to do the fur. Okay, I'm gonna blend that with the tissue. And I want it smoothed out as much as I can. And then I'll go back in with my pencil and I'm gonna make little fur lines and if your pencil needs to be sharpened bring it to me because I can sharpen it for you I have a really really good pencil sharpener don't try to use the electric or the other pencil sharpener it'll tear them up they work fine for regular pencils or colored pencils but not so much for these okay so I didn't do my stripes super dark but somewhat in there, okay?